Hi, welcome in this video. I want to share with you all the tips I can to help you playing bossa nova or samba on the bass. If you play an upright bass, you will also find this video very useful, I hope, because the idea is exactly the same, it's just that the technique is a bit different. I don't have an upright bass here, so I can show you. I cannot show you, but it's the same thing as, as the electric bass. The idea is the same. The first thing you have to understand when you play bossa nova is that you have to play on the beat, always. Why is that? Because, to explain it very briefly, bossa nova is mainly, um, mainly influenced by jazz and by samba. And in samba, the main instrument that does the rhythm is a very big percussion that's called the sourdo and that plays on that plays one and the two of every measure and the two is very loud so it's one and two one and two Please take a few seconds to check the links in the description of this video and to listen for a few seconds to the recording that I advise you to to listen to it's at the beginning of the songs you will get the you will get this feeling and it's very important when you play bass. All right, so the first pattern I want to show you is a very simple pattern, but it works very well and it's on a lot of recordings. What I will teach you in this video is based on a lot of transcription that I did of many recordings by João Gilberto and also a lot by Antonio Carlos Jobim. So, which are the, the two composers that are players and composers that are the most well known in bossa nova. And I will, this video is mainly about bossa nova and a bit about samba, but I won't develop that much about samba. I will show you everything that I will do here will work on simple sambas. So, the basic thing you can do, the first pattern is this one. So I'm on a D chord, D major, D minor, D7, and I play the root and then the fifth with tenuto notes or long notes. It's not. And I play on the one, one, two, one, two, on the beat. Boom. You can play the fifth higher, but it's a bit less typical because of the sourdo that plays a very low frequency at the on the second beat. But you can absolutely do this. It's just that if you do it very like, constantly, always, it was it will sound less typical. It's good to have a little um, a sound that is a bit more low on the second beat. Ding. In a lot of Brazilian musics, you can find this groove at the bass. So if so, if you play, it's a bit less typical, but it works too. The first variation you can do is to stop the notes, not like this, but you stop at the at the middle. So one and two and. One and two and the moment you stop the note is very important. So let me play that at a good tempo. You can stop the sound by muting with the fingers at this hand, but also by releasing the pressure with these fingers. It's really up to you. When I release with these fingers, this is mostly what I did. I have a little buzz when I release the string that I can hear, but you can't. You, I think you don't hear it in the recording in the in your amp. You will not hear it, so that's not really a problem. Let's do a little exercise. Let's use these two patterns on a simple chord progression, a 2-5-1, like E minor 7, A7, and D major. 
So E minor 7, A7, or maybe, and then D major. And I can go up, etc. Okay, this was pretty basic, but it worked. It didn't, it didn't sound amazing because there were no chords, just the drums and the bass, but that's a good exercise to do just to play very even. For me, it's not that easy because I'm not a bass player, I'm a guitar player, but I still know a bit of bass technique, so I can do the job, more or less. Now, let's modify this a bit to make it even better or to give it a bit more groove. It's not just necessary to do a lot of fancy things. If you do a lot of fancy things, it won't sound good in bossa nova you, most of the time, but you can add some little percussion that make it sound a bit better. It's the percussion that, you, that I um, sang uh, previously with the sourdo. The ting kikum, ting kikum. There is a little muted note, a very soft sound, but a little percussion just before the second note. So instead of playing ton, ton, we can play ting, ting, ting. We can do a little grace note, muted note, ghost note, like this. Ting, ting, ting. And it's easy to do if you go down because it's the same you can play with just one finger. So you can keep the note ringing and then... So you have to release the pressure before hitting the string to get this sound, this percussion sound. But you can also keep the second pattern I showed you, so... And you can do this if you want on all the notes, so... It's important to do it pretty in a pretty subtle way, if you do kick on, kick on, kick on, it will be too exaggerated and it's like a, you know, a swing exaggerated and it doesn't sound so good. It has to be kind of subtle. Before doing this, doing a, a whole song on um, Garota Gipanema, girl, the girl from Ipanema, before doing this, I want to show you what you want to avoid if you play bossa nova. And this is, these are mistakes that many bass players do, because I play with a lot of, I, I really like bossa nova and samba, I play this a lot with a lot of bass players that don't know that much, so I see these mistakes very often. The first thing you really want to avoid is to um, anticipate the note. Bossa nova or samba is not salsa. This is very different. So you don't want to do or This is upbeat. In salsa you have this But in bossa nova and samba it's it's on the beat, not before the beat. The other thing that you want to, you really want to avoid, it's not a big mistake, but it's really better not to do this, is to um, play the second note, is to do this, let me show you. So 
So you play the second note, like the fifth, you play it before the beat, and then you play it again on the beat. It's not very bad, but it's bad <laughs> to do this. You have this on various styles of, of music, but in Bossa Nova, it, Bossa Nova it's very rare. I only found one or maybe two CD of Antonio Scarlo Jobin where the bass player does it, and I'm not really sure that it's a choice from Jobin. Probably it's the bass player that played this way, and it was like, okay, it sounds okay, so let's not say anything, or I don't know, maybe he didn't notice it. I don't know if, it's, if it was a choice, but in all the albums, expect, except these two, of Jean Gilberto and Jobin, you won't find this rhythm. So this is something that you really, you want to avoid. You can do this. This is okay, but this is not, it sounds great, but it's not typical of bossa nova and samba. Now let me play a whole chorus on the, the girl from Ipanema. But before that, just let me tell you that you can use the fingers, but also the picks. Yes, you can play the bass with a pick, that's not forbidden. What I like to do, instead of playing with a standard guitar pick, is to use a felt pick. Because I'm not that good with the fingers, but I play guitar, so I'm pretty good with a pick. And with a felt pick, it's very thick, but it's very soft, and it also gives the sound... It's, it almost gives the sound of the fingers, so you can use this kind of pick, and I use it with this part of the pick. So I will play with the fingers here, I will try my best <laughs> to play well with the fingers, but you can play with a pick. Oh, and another thing I wanted to tell you is that I don't like that much playing very low notes, except when, I'm, when I play in a big band, but I don't, uh, because if you don't have the good amplification and when you play this kind of notes it's very muddy, very low and not easy to hear the note, whereas if you play a bit higher it's better. But I want to play higher but I don't want to have a too bright sound. So what I can do, of course I can use the the, the buttons, the buttons of the of the bass, but I can play here. This is what I do a lot. I really like this sound for the F major. So let me play Garota Gipanema in F major. conclude this video, let me give you some more information, important information, if you want, especially if you want to go further. Um, in Bossa Nova, the most common thought pattern of Bossa Nova is almost never played in the original recordings of Bossa Nova. So there's a lot of misunderstanding about this style of music. So here are a few tips to be sure to get some good information. The first thing I really advise you to do is when you look for information about this type of music, check in Portuguese. Don't check in English or in your language. Check in Portuguese if you want to the rhythm for um, guitar in Bossa Nova. Check Bachida de Violão Bossa Nova, and don't check uh, 
that in your language or at base or if you che want to check information, check that in Portuguese. You will find videos in Portuguese, maybe you don't understand Portuguese, but you will hear the music and the people who played this for their entire life, they will show you how to play this. And this is an accurate information. So this is the first tip. Second tip is to listen to the recording because the, the answers are in the recording. So just listen to Antonio Carlos Jobim recordings and just listen to the bass, just try to transcribe it if you can. That's how you get the good sound from the people who created this style of music. And last thing, listen to the people who really know about this music and who transcribe this a lot. This is very important. Just don't listen to someone who says, oh, it's like that and doesn't give you any link of recordings or things to, to listen to or they didn't transcribe anything. That's very important if you want to get the good information. In the description of this video, you will have tons of links, of useful links, of things to listen to, to make sure that I didn't say stupid things or inaccurate things. If you have anything you would like to say to suggest me on new topics for videos, please tell me in the comments and see you soon. Dama cheia de graça e ela menina que vem que passa no doce balanço o caminho do mar. Moça do corpo dourado do sol de Panema, o seu balançado é mais que um poema. E a coisa mais linda que eu já vi passar Ah, porque eu estou tão sozinho